What is up YouTube? It's your girl Crochet Jalice here and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be um, showing y'all how to make an Apple Watch band. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, it's this. This is the Apple Watch band that I made. And that, oh, it's upside down, hold on. Let me, you know what, let me get right for y'all and then we are gonna come right back at it. Okay, so this is the Apple Watch band. Um, it comes with all these different charms and stuff like that. So I'm about to make this. I have a custom order to make um, for someone that purchased on my website. That style that I just showed you is a pre-made style that I already have on my website. It's called Sadidi. So if y'all want to purchase this one already made, y'all can go do that. The link will be in the, in the description. And if y'all want to purchase a custom one, go ahead and check out what custom on my website. And then I'll email you and then we'll get your details of how you want your band. So, but without further ado, let's just go get into the video because I know y'all want to know how to make it. So, let's go. Okay, so now, these are the beads you requested. So, this is what you need. You need beads. You need connectors. So, this is the Apple Watch Band connector. This is in rose gold. And then, I have the charm she selected. And then also I'm gonna need split rings. And these are more split rings, but these are a bigger size. This is an assortment of sizes, a different ones, so yeah. Oh, and then also, you're gonna need string as well. And this is seven millimeter, point seven or point eight, let's just look. It does not say. This is 0.8 millimeter string, I believe. And then I need a ruler to measure how long I need the band to be. So here's my string. I'm just gonna take some. Oh, then you need scissors to cut the string as well. So let me get my scissors. Boom, scissors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler. So this um, client needs an eight. She said her wrist size is an eight, so I'm gonna just go ahead. And I always leave like an inch, inch and a half sometimes to account for the Apple Band watch. Um, but this time I'm gonna just leave an inch. So, boom. If her wrist is an eight, I, I'm gonna make a seven inch watch, just a, a seven inch band just to account for the watch. So I'm gonna do my string, I'm gonna put it at nine inches, okay? And so I do the double band method. I hope y'all can see them measuring this, okay. I'm measuring it nine inches. So I do the, I double up on the string, so I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna cut it right there. So we need three of these pieces of string, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that now. Okay, boom. So what you wanna do, you wanna take one of your pieces of string and you're gonna get the connector. And then you're just gonna, I'm gonna set this off. I'm gonna set these ones off to the side. So you just get your connector, you put one side through, can you see? Yeah, you put one side through. And then you just get it to make it equal. And then you're just gonna tie it in a knot. Oops. So hopefully this is still like equal and it's not. So let me retie that. Cause it was getting tangled, hold on. Sometimes I have to do this a couple times if it's not equal, but that's why we left those two extra inches just in case um, it don't end up being equal or lining up. But I do want to get it closer than that. Okay, 
okay yes this is pretty pretty accurate so then i'm gonna tie it multiple times because you do not want this to come apart so just gonna knot it again and i double i would be knotting mine like three four times just to make sure Okay, that's good for me. And then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna repeat it with the other two strings. Okay, so boom, y'all. I have the three knots on here. And next, I'm just gonna figure out how I want her band so she said she wanted these to be colors but how do I want it how do I want to make it do I want this one on the outside let's see And then if it's possible so like sometimes people request connectors on the end and I'll show you what that looks like hold on sometimes people request connectors and they just go on the end right here but this and it has the knot but this person did not so I try to just when they don't request connectors I just go ahead and pull as hard as I can to make sure the knot goes into the hole of the bead so you can't really see it. And then so, let's get the next one. And then another pink one on the end, dark pink one. You know, sometimes these, when it be doubled up, it be hard to get these through. And I don't be trying to play with them, so I just go grab another one and see if that one go in easy. So yeah, this is how I'm going to have my beads lined up and I'm going to let y'all just watch as I do the rest of it. So hold on. So this row is done. I'm about to go in and do another row of these ones. So next row. Y'all look at how cute this combination is. But all right, let me go in and do the last row. The last row.
Okay, so now the band is done and I measured it to make sure it was the right length. So now I'm about to just go in and attach the other piece. But y'all, look how cute this is. Like, y'all can't tell me this not cute. So you always want to make sure you tie it with the same side. So like, so boom, if this side is facing this way, your neck's connecting. Yeah, your next connector needs to be facing the same way that this is on the other side. Don't have them, if you can see, like, you see how this is black, silver, black? Do not have that, and this this is three blacks. Do not tie them like that, because the person cannot use that. So you want to make sure it's three blacks and three blacks, or if you have it flipped the other way, it's two blacks and two blacks, okay? So, yeah. So this is three blacks right here. I'm going to tie it with this three blacks facing up. Because don't don't be tying it the other way. Then have people mad at you because they can't wear it now. Don't do that. Now, y'all, please tie this multiple times. You do not want a customer mad at you because you didn't mess up their band, okay? Because what you don't want to do is not tie the knot tight and then their band pop on them. They are gonna be teed up, especially because I take custom orders for $60. If someone spent $60 on an Apple Watch, a custom Apple Watch band, just to have it break, right when they go to wear it, they will not be happy, trust me. And you do not want bad reviews for your business. No, that's bad business. So just make sure that you're tying it several, several times. So boom, the bees are on there. And what you want to do is you want to always just stretch. stretch to make sure that it's not gonna pop then boom so now I'm about to just cut off the excess string and be careful don't cut the knot y'all Cause then you're gonna have to start all the way back over. So here's the band. Next step. Oh, here's the band, y'all. Next step is to put on the charms. So boom. Here are the charms she selected. These ones are kind of high key, kind of big. But she really wanted these ones, so we can attach them. So what I do is I get the smallest one and like, not the OD small. Do I get this one? <gasps> Did I really just do that? Hold on. Okay, so I get these. I get these two just right next to each other, and I get this. So, this, the biggest size, I snap, I attach to the actual band itself, and then I put the smallest one because y'all, I don't have split ring pliers. I need to get some, but when I went into Michael's, they didn't have some, so I need to look on Amazon. And I have to open this small thing. So instead of doing that, I just place it on here. Or wait, or am I gonna use this size? Hold on. Whatever size I can get open, that's the size I'm gonna use. It's 
And then I be using this that came with the connector. Oops. My bad, y'all. Okay. So I be using this that come with the connector to open it. Let's see if it'll work. I probably don't. Y'all, I really just need to get split ring pliers and stop playing myself. So, yeah. I'm gonna try this small one. Okay, yeah, I could get this one open. Y'all, don't do like me. You're gonna destroy your nails. But, get that open. And then put the charm through. Okay, boom. And then I'm gonna put another one. On there and I'm gonna connect that to the big one So one. I just slide this one. Okay. And then put these two together. looks like this and it moves like that so like if somebody had their apple watch on and like it your your charm will be able to move freely whether if i just put it on there then it would like if i was to just attach the charm to this it would barely have any movement so with me adding those other ones it just gives it movement and it can turn you know because you don't want somebody to get it snagged and then start pulling at the band and breaking it so I'm going to just connect all these and then we're going to come back and then I'm going to show y'all how I attach them and stuff.
Okay. So y'all, now that I have all the split rings on the charms, we can go ahead and connect the charms to the bracelet. Okay, so you connect the charm to the bracelet. I need to see how I want to put it. So we can put this in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the bottom. Can y'all see? So this goes on the bottom right here. I just need to open it again. Okay, so I'm not touching it. This way. So your charms go on the side where the three black pieces right there and facing up. Cause the, how they gonna put the watch on is it goes like this. So her watch, her wrist is clearly bigger than mine, but um, that's why she ordered a custom. So her charms would wanna be on the outside. So you wanna put it by this, one, two, three. So if the charm, so since this is this way, you put the charm facing up, and then I just connect it. I think I want to put it right. Just open this with my fingers at this point. So this is how the final band looks. This is so cute. Hold on, I'm about to bring y'all around. So yeah, I don't know if y'all can see if this lighting is good. But yeah, this is how the final band looks. So yeah. Now I'm just about to take a picture and send it to the client that ordered this so that I can get her approval. And then once I get her approval, I will send it off. So yes.
so thank y'all for watching this video um if y'all like um if y'all recreate this apple band watch make sure y'all tag me on instagram or dm me the pictures of y'all doing it i really want to see what y'all create um this is just what i created for my client and i'll also insert pictures and videos um if i get any other better pictures and videos i'll go ahead and insert them in this video as well um i will be um selling these on my website as well well i already do sell them on my website so if you want to get you one um go ahead and make sure you cop make sure you cop link will be in the the link will be in the description so yes thank y'all for watching make sure y'all like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye